Now, speaking of houses, what about haunted houses? Are you into that at all? I actually just went to Netherworld like a week or two ago for my uh, little sister's birthday. It was cool. I actually had some genuine, like I've been before when I was younger, like 13. It's my first time going since then. So I had some genuine like scary moments in there. I can't lie. I'm not big on haunted houses. I went when I was 13 and haven't been to one since, but um, it was actually cool. And I, I'd go to like 18 and up Halloween, like haunted house. Like that made me want to like do a real haunted house. Like, what about a real shit. what about a haunted house where you would have to sign a waiver? That's what I'm saying. I would do that, but the only thing like that I don't like about that is like separating me, separating me from my group. I gotta pull up handcuffs, waiver. <laughs> Scariest haunted house you ever went to so far. Um, when we was, when I was younger and I went to Netherworld, I was like 13 or 14, I was pretty, that was pretty scary. And like, I wasn't with any family, I was just with all friends. So that's really like every man for himself for real. So yeah, that was, that was intense. Probably how, why I haven't, why I never went back. I like uh, Six Flags, like Fright Fest and stuff like that, that's a vibe. Now, what about horror movies? Are you into that at all? I just seen Saw last week. Uh, Saw X. Saw X. I mean, I think scary movies, I like thrillers and like suspenseful like movies like that. I think horror is like, it never really fully makes sense for me. Like the, the, the storyline is always weak for me. And then it's like, I get attached to characters that's probably gonna die at the end. I'm not a huge fan of that. But I mean, if they're good, like if it's a good thriller, like if it's a good like obsession type vibe, I like those type of movies. Those keep me on my toes. But horror movies, I don't know, they just, they just never make sense. Like Saw was cool, but it was just like, this is unrealistic as shit. Have you seen all the Saws? I've seen a couple of them. I watched like, I think it was Saw 3 or 2 when I was younger at like my cousin's house getting my hair braided and that shit scared me, scared me. Like I feel like the older ones were a little more, like a little more realistic. And it used to be crazy because everybody could really make it to the end if they like work together type shit. That was the crazy thing about Saw, like nobody really had to die. They and just got stupider and stupider as they kept going. Sorry. What was your review on X formally? Um, I gave it, I think, a seven, seven and a half. But um, I feel like if you like those type of movies, you might give it a higher rating, you know? And that's out of 10. Yeah, like a seven. And when it comes to scariest movie of all time, whether it was a thriller or a horror movie, what would you fill in the blank for that question? Probably like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Which one? There are a few variations. The original. The first one. The real one. And speaking of reviews. Crazy. Speaking of your speaking of reviews, excuse me, that recent trip to Netherworld, where would you rate that out of ten? I would rate that okay, I would rate that scariness, I'm gonna give it a seven. Experience overall, like an eight and a half, a nine. I had my dad with me, he's hilarious. He was like actually getting scared a lot of times. So I think it was cool. I think it's just like more for the younger uh, the younger demographic, but it was super fire. That's why I was saying like that got me hyped up to want to go and sign a waiver and get scared and shit. Now, what's your opinion on ghosts? Um, I don't, I don't know, it depends. It depends. I don't know. <laughs> Ever had a ghost encounter? Um, no, I never had a ghost encounter. I never had a ghost encounter. I feel like, I don't know. I ain't gonna get too deep over here. I, don't, I have never had a ghost encounter. <laughs>